Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little first impression slash review on the Batiste dry shampoo in the original clean and classic scent, which is just the little on the, the little blue bottle. And I just bought the sample size from Ulta Beauty and it retails, I believe, for $3.99. And the big one, which is, I think, eight fluid ounces, which is like a normal hairspray size, was, I think, $8.99. And they have a sale going on, but I wasn't about to do all that because I'm just trying to test it out. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger, well, without the lid. It's about the size of my palm. It's how much product you get because the little spray part is right here. It smells good. This is my second time using it. I used it the night before last, just kind of playing with it. So, ignore my clothes. I recently got home from work, so yeah. I wanted to film this before I put my comfy clothes on. As you can see, my hair is kind of oily. It's a little bit of dryness in there because I need to wash it. But I'm trying to wait a few more days because it's only been exactly a week. Today is Tuesday and I got it straightened last Monday. I see a lot of people not of color using these, like not African American, you know what I'm saying? They don't have Afro textured hair. Use this. So I was like, oh, why not try it out? Maybe it'll help because of course I'm not about to wear it down and it's looking like extra greasy. I did kind of lightly oil my scalp last night with a little bit of coconut oil with tea tree oil and a little bit of peppermint oil in it just so my scalp wasn't so irritated you guys know I deal with that and my hair just doesn't like to cooperate I don't know how some of you can go three to four weeks with your hair straightened and not have to wash in between my hair just my scalp won't deal with it and my it'll just start to flake and just feel like it's inflamed so I did that to kind of alleviate that it didn't start yet but i wanted to prevent it because i knew it was about to happen because usually by like day 10 my hair is not having it so probably not going to wear it down anymore but i just want to see if this is going to work so i know stuff i said i saw said to not have it too close so i've been playing with it <laughs> it does give me a nice idea of how i'll look with gray hair and it looks really cool so That'll be interesting when I start to gray. It smells good. I was nervous about the dry shampoo making my hair feel wet just because I don't want it to completely revert yet. So this is this reminds me kind of like a hairspray but not the wet feel. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> when I tried it last, I didn't like legit do it so that's why I'm giving a commentary while I do this. I want it to be less oily through my actual strands too so hopefully I'm doing this right. Got a little great action going but I'm just gonna rub it out. I'm spraying it too close. I saw some people say that you can't spray it too close because it will leave your hair like kind of white. Yeah, it's kind of helping, but I don't understand why they call this like dry shampoo because I don't think it's actually like cleaning your hair. I feel like it's more so like absorbing the actual oils. I don't know, I guess that's what they mean. But I thought it would actually like clean your scalp like when some people are in the hospital and they can't wash the hair. I thought that's what this was for too. I don't know. Let me know down below if you know. And my scalp is really sensitive right here in the crown part. I don't know why. Because I haven't done anything to it. I 
I didn't run the oil through my actual strands, just like at the roots, but of course your natural oils go down your actual hair strands. So it looks like we're just gonna be wrapping the pony at work the rest of this week until I can wash it this weekend. So yeah, final thoughts. This is not gonna make your hair feel like it's like freshly washed, but it does kind of prolong it a little bit longer because my hair doesn't look as stringy as it did before, which is nice. So yeah, it's not bad and it's not super expensive. So if you're curious on how dry shampoo will work on black hair, now you see it will be kind of oily. Don't get your hopes up, but it will kind of help because I don't feel like it looks as shrinky through my actual strands which is fine because like I said, it will be in a ponytail and maybe some other styles towards the end of this week until I wash it this weekend. So yeah, give it a try. It's only $3.99 for this little bottle. It's not crazy price, so I say give it a try if you were wondering on how to prolong your straight hair. It kind of looks revived now, but of course my roots are oily, so that's not about to change probably, but the rest of my hair feels good. So yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I'll use it again when my hair is straight. I don't straighten it often, so it's not like a real need for me, but I was hoping maybe it would kind of help cleanse my scalp without actual cleansing, without actual water and stuff, because it says dry shampoo, but yeah, I was wrong. It just helps with the oil. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you've ever used this dry shampoo or other ones. So I'll see maybe if there's something else out there that will help better cleanse my scalp when it's straight in between washing with actual water. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.